Is it rolling? Mm -hmm. Hi everyone, my name is Mimi. A handful of you might know me, and to those who do, what's up friends and family? Most of you have no idea who I am, slash don't care. Huh? That's okay. I'm totally not important. But the message I'm about to convey is... Roll it! Meet my cousin Ashley. She's smart, beautiful, and a hardworking go-getter. She's an Air Force veteran with a heart of gold. This past May, she graduated with a bachelor's in exercise science from Meredith College, and she's got plans to pursue a master's in physician assistant studies. Yep, she wants to work as a surgical PA and provide care to those in need across the globe. Not too long ago, she was on a medical brigade to Nicaragua, where she got to work with doctors and pharmacists to provide care for a poverty-stricken community. They also worked with locals to dig trenches and install water pipes to allow access to clean water. Nowadays, Ashley has partnered up with Pencils of Promise, a nonprofit org whose mission is to provide schools and education to kids in developing countries. Together, their project is to raise money in order to build a school in Laos. 100% of all donations will go towards that goal, and yes, they're tax deductible. Hint, hint, itemizers. You can visit pencilsofpromise.org for more info on what they do, or go right to Ashley's team homepage via the link in the caption to donate or join our team, HOPE, which stands for Heroes of Pencils and Education. Now, some questions may arise, such as, what is Laos, where is it, and why there? Good questions, people. That is why I have my friend Alex here to break it down for you. One sec. Come on. What the? How, how did I get here? Take it away, good sir. Oh. Okay, y'all, so Laos is basically a country situated in Southeast Asia. It stands between Thailand and Vietnam, and it's northeast-ish of Cambodia and south of China. It borders Myanmar a bit too. Sadly, no nice ocean views here, but it's still a beautiful country. Although Laos has made some progress through the years, it's still on the UN's list of least developed countries. Five years ago, roughly 40% of teens were enrolled in secondary school. In 2015, that number has bumped up to 61%. But still, that's only slightly more than the adolescent population attending school. Among adults, about 80% are literate, meaning 20% who are older than 15 cannot read nor write. And the rates of illiteracy are higher among ethnic minorities there. In established schools, the student-teacher ratio is almost double that of the U.S. What does that mean? It means they need milk. No, but seriously, it means they need more schools and they need more teachers. All right, you heard the man. Thanks, Alex. You're welcome. Glad you were. So Ashley's goal is to raise $50,000. The cost to build a school is $35,000. The other $15,000 will go towards things like clean water systems, training the teachers, and paying for the children's education. My parents are from Laos, so this project is very near and dear to my heart. Please make a donation to this amazing cause. And it doesn't even have to be much. It can, like, be the cost of, I don't know, a week's worth of lattes from that super popular and expensive coffee place. Hey, you don't even have to donate if you don't want to. Scrooge. We won't judge you. Okay, maybe that guy will. But you can still help by hitting the share button. Doing that, you're already lending a helping hand to get Ashley's message across. We live in a world of uncertainty, and she's one of the many who are trying to make it a better place, one feet at a time. Also, bonus, Anyone who donates will get his or her name put on a banner that Ashley's making. She plans on taking a picture of it in front of the school once it's been built. So go to her team page in the link provided to donate and or share this post to help spread the word. And many thanks to the great people who have already made a donation. Thanks for watching. Bye!